So now that we've looked at how to use invoices, I want to show you how to use bills. And it's important to note that many businesses actually choose not to use bills. And that's perfectly fine. That's up to you. Bills, like invoices, allow you to create an expense today that you plan on paying in the future. So it separates the expense from the cash. Oftentimes, businesses will use bills if they have certain expenses like inventory or certain utilities that maybe they want to recognize that they have that expense, but they know that they're not going to pay it for 30, 60, 90 days, but they don't want to forget about it. So putting a bill in your accounting software will help you keep track of what comes due. However, if when bills come in, you just immediately pay them, then it seems kind of redundant to create a bill and immediately pay it in the same transaction. What I would recommend doing for if tracking long-term expenses is not important for your business is to just forego using bills altogether and simply pay things with your card or with a check and allow those transactions to flow in through your bank feed automatically and get entered into wave accounting that way on a cash basis so yeah it's a it's a little odd to think about it but you can have an accrual basis on your invoices and a cash basis with your expenses um, a lot of small businesses do things that way and it it works out fine so for small businesses that's probably what I would recommend it seems to be the easiest way to do it but if you do have a lot of expenses particularly related to inventory that may span 30 60 90 days then you would want to create bills so in that scenario let's go ahead and show you how you could create a bill to start with we go to this bill menu off to the left and when we get there we'll go up to the create a bill button here on the right. Now you'll see that bills look very similar to invoices. We can go ahead and select our vendor. So let's pick the miscellaneous vendor. And we'll need to set the date. Hopefully that should be on the documents that you got from the vendor. So let's say that this bill came in June 15th and it's due in 30 days. So it'll be due in July 15th. Now you can see that this bill number field is not a required field. In fact, it doesn't even look like a field at all. But if I click on it, it allows me to add in a bill number. You may not have to add in a bill number, but I would highly recommend doing it. Um, as your business grows and you start wanting to do more analysis and reporting, sometimes it can be very complicated if your bills do not have numbers in them especially as you grow and maybe you want to export the information out of wave and put it into a larger software as you outgrow waves functionality later on down the road if none of the bills have bill numbers or if your bill numbers are inconsistent then that can make it very difficult for exporting and importing tools to separate each of those transactions so although it's not required i make it a habit with all of my clients to get them used to using bill numbers from the very beginning as it will facilitate some of your future needs that you may have down the road. So let's go ahead and add that in. And then if you have a purchase order that you sent into them and you want to keep track of that information here, you can enter that in the POSO field right here. And then let's go ahead and add some items to this. So maybe we're purchasing five of these training videos. And you can see that unlike QuickBooks, and some of the other accounting softwares, bills inside of Wave do not allow you to attach an account to the bill. It must come from an item. So if you have things like utilities that aren't an inventory, aren't a product or a service that you provide, but you still want to bill for them, that can be a little confusing at the start. What I would recommend doing in those scenarios is go in here and add a new product. We'll call one power bill. And we'll choose an expense account that it will go into. So we can go down to our utilities account. And the price, since my power bill changes month to month, I'm just going to say zero. And then I can fill it in every month as I need. And then I can add this product in. And that is how you could set a utility or something that is not an expense typically like a, an inventory item to your bill so that you can bill for those things if you want to. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go over into the product screen and just check the settings on that new product I created.
and you can see that it's marked for only buy this and that's what we want so the way that you get around not having accounts is just create products that are buy this only don't check the sell this box and then it will only show up on your bills it won't be available for your invoices and that way you can bill for those items without worrying about them showing up as a product that is how we could create bills inside of wave accounting in our next video we'll show you how to go ahead and pay some of these bills thank you for watching the bootstrapper's guide to wave accounting if you found this video useful i encourage you to click the like button below subscribe to our youtube channel and share this video with other entrepreneurs doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other wave users here on the accounting lab